Hi everyone, welcome back to Technontech TV. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to draw a DFD diagram for a hospital management system. So let's start. Data flow diagram hospital management system is used to create an overview of hospital management system without going in too much detail. So the overall hospital management system is represented and described using input processing and output in DFD. So the DFD diagram for hospital management system provides information about the inputs and outputs for each process and entity of hospital such as uh, patient, staff, doctor, room and medical treatment. So this DFD diagram for the hospital management system uses uh, defined symbols that uh, present the system's processes. There are several notations for displaying data flow diagrams. So I am using notation that is described by D. Marco and Jordan. So first is external entities. External entities are the entry and exit points for uh, data entering and leaving the system. Entities are referred to as terminators, source, sinks and actors. Next is process. A process receives input data and process output data with a different form or content. Every process has a name that identifies the function it performs. Next is data source or database. It is a table that uh, stores the files or uh, repositories for future use. And last is data flow. A uh, data flow is the flow of data between external entities, processes and data stores. Now let's draw zero level DFD diagram for hospital management system. So the zero level DFD for uh, hospital management system define the overview of whole hospital management system. It is supposed to be an abstract view of overall system. This is also called as a context diagram. So context diagram for hospital management system in which the entire system is represented as single process with its relationship with uh, external entities such as admin, staff, doctor, etc. Now let's see the relationship between process and entities. So first let's see the relationship between admin and hospital module process. So admin will send patient and staff information to hospital module process and what hospital module will do is it will send updated and modified information to admin and patient will send his or her information to hospital module and hospital will send bill information and diagnosis info to patient. This diagnosis info it will send by doctor or staff to hospital module and hospital will send it to patient and hospital will send list of patient and reports to doctor. Now let's see uh, level 1 DFD diagram. So first level of the DFD diagram uh, shows more emphasis on the concept of a context diagram. This level is uh, considered uh, the expanded version of the previous diagram. So here I am adding four processes, patient management, assigning room or facility, assigning medicine and staff management. So all four processes are the sub processor of uh, hospital management system. So these sub processes comprise the important functions of the system which completes the whole project. Here also I am taking three entities, patient, staff or doctor and admin. And we have three database. First is patient database for storing patient info. Next is medicine database to store medicine info that is assigned to particular patient. And next is staff database for storing staff info. Now let's see how data will flow in this diagram. So first patient will add patient info in the database and this info will share to manage patient process and this process will send the patient info to admin and uh, what admin will do is he will add edit and delete patient entry and manage patient process will also send patient info to staff and doctors similarly for staff and doctors info will store in database and then it will send it to manage staff and doctor process 
and then this info will send to admin and admin have a right to add uh, update and delete staff info also next manage staff also assign different departments to different staff and staff or doctor will send patient diagnosis info to patient management process and this process will store this info in a uh, patient database and from there patient can access patient diagnosis info now what patient will do is patient will send this info to assigning room or facility process as well as to assigning medicine process and staff or doctor will send what kind of facilities patient need and this info will send to assigning room or facility process and after diagnosis doctor will also send the medicine info of the patient to assigning medicine process and this both module will process these data and uh, send the facilities and medicine info to patient now all the processing has been done patient got the proper treatment so, so at the end patient management process will send the bill info to patient so in short basically in this diagram an input containing the patient's information is passed to the manage patient process during the process the input will have some changes depending on the patient's diagnosis and medication the processed data is then stored in the patient database as a result the database will produce the bill information output for patients next let's uh, draw second level dfd diagram so the first level dfd of uh, hospital management system represent how the system is divided into sub systems and second level provides more detail about different sub processes so i am going to draw only one dfd diagram for level 2 you can draw multiple diagrams i will draw dfd for uh, billing process so here we have uh, four processes in patient treatment process outpatient treatment process calculate billing and generate report process and here we have two entities staff or doctor and cashier and here we have billing database now let's see the data flow between these processes and entities so the doctor in charge of a specific patient will input the doctor charges medical charges room charges and service charges for both inpatient and outpatient and this info will send to billing process and also it will store the in billing database billing process will calculate the bill and it will send it to generate report process to generate the report so this system can print or received with the uh, information of all charges and cashier will get the receipt and after that he will collect the money from patient so this is how you can draw different uh, dfd diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add various entities and different processes according to you that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos